it is faith welcome back to another vlog on the channel for this week's video i'm going to be showing you guys a room transformation video it's honestly more like a room glow up video because i didn't do too much to my room like moving any furniture however i did do some upgrading on some furniture pieces i did a diy project um, and I bought some new decorations to just elevate my room a little bit. So I thought I would take you guys along on the journey and also show you guys ways to upgrade your room, kind of like on a budget, like very simplistic ways to make your room look so much better. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get on into this week's video. The overall vibe of my room was to keep it very neutral, like blacks, whites, grays, that kind of thing. So the first thing I did was order some new products products so um, if you guys didn't see my room decor haul I uploaded that a couple weeks ago I'll link it um, up in the cards I put all of those pieces together I got new throw pillows I got a new makeup stool I got these two pillows from Marshalls and this from Target and I used to have these pink throw pillows. I believe the covers were from H&M Home. I got them because I really liked pink and I wanted to originally bring pink into my room, but then overall I was just like, honestly, I just kind of want to keep it neutral. So I got these gray pillows. I honestly like the simplicity of the throw pillows because I, you know, when I'm getting into bed, I don't want to put a bunch of pillows on the floor or in my basket. And then when I'm making my bed, I don't want to put that much effort, to be honest. So having a few, like, cute pillows, even if they're super simplistic, like these little fluffy ones, and it really established the color palette that I wanted to include gray in here. Also, my walls are gray, so it just really tied everything together. And I believe these two pillows were, like, 20 bucks. They were, like, $10 each. It came in a pack. And then this one was a little more pricey. It was, like, $30, $35, I believe. But... I feel like it's definitely worth the investment because I'm going to be using that pillow all year round. And I bought it with the intent like, okay, if it doesn't work out, I can always return it. You know, returns are a thing. I go to Target all the time, so it wouldn't be that bad, but um, it honestly made everything look good. Another thing that I thought of was getting a leather uh, pillowcase cover for like a long bar pillow. I definitely wanted a long bar. I think that would be a really cute idea for like the fall time. I know leather is really in and fashion. Why not bring it into the home as well? Um, but as of right now, I'm just really liking that pillow. So I'm going to keep it, but for future reference or for like a future idea of leather long bar pillow, or even like two little pillows, that would be so cute. But yes, yeah, so one tip, change out your throw pillows, get new ones. You could also just buy pillow inserts and then switch out the covers throughout the different seasons. And if you want to change up your room a little bit, that's definitely a cheaper option than just buying straight up pillows. So I know Amazon has a lot of different sizes and varieties with inserts and covers. I got this new dresser this last year from Ikea. It's the Malm dresser. Obviously, you don't have to have a whole new dresser to upgrade your room. However, this is what I did. This was like a big goal of mine to get done this year was to get a new dresser so it's just three drawers but I went very simplistic with the decor this year it's kind of like my fall decor a little bit I decorated for fall a little bit this is a DIY project I did which I'll show you guys in a second but I got the pompous from Amazon and I DIY'd the vase and then I got this pretty velvet skull I believe from Marshalls and then another tip is I displayed my jewelry so these necklaces are a set from Amazon um, but I just displayed all of my jewelry there you can definitely change out the jewelry display as you want and then display all your favorite jewelry plus it's super accessible as well so i just kept the dresser very simplistic i'm very much a minimal person like very minimal modern a little bit of scandinavian that's my vibe so i'm very pleased with this i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the diy vase because i filmed that a while ago and you guys can see how i configured this whole dresser thing um so let's just roll the footage now we have our paints the brushes and then to make it terracotta style i guess we add baking soda right yep and we have our vases but this one's mine we got these at goodwill mine was like literally four bucks so it's a a cheap diy Okay. 
Okay, so this is how it's going. <laughs> Very cute. Here's all that we're gonna do today. We're probably gonna continue this another time, but the first coat is done. All of them just need to like dry. So I did some touch-ups on my vase yesterday and it finally dried. I think it looks so pretty. I was kind of nervous because it kind of looked a little too yellow when it was in like some yellow lighting in the garage. But in the daylight, it looks so good. Kind of gives more um, stucco vibes than the terracotta, but I honestly don't mind that at all. I'm gonna put my pompous in it. I think I wanna put this on my nightstand. So we're gonna move this around, see what looks best. Okay, low-key don't know how I really like it now. I feel like everything in here is white. And this is like really cream. Like it's not like it's an off-white, it's just very creamy. Um, but it complements the pompous really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this pompous on. Oh gosh, this is gonna get really messy really quick. Okay, obviously I'm gonna have to fluff it first. I really like the look of the pompous. I genuinely do. However, it's the color for me. Like it just kind of looks off. Like this is the look I wanted to go for, but it doesn't look good in my all white and gray room. I feel like it just has to be on opposite ends. I don't know what I would do with the diffuser though, like where I would move it to. That's kind of cute, that's like very simplistic. But I feel like it would like have a candle there, right? I don't have a candle, so I would have a diffuser. Comment kind of below what you guys think, but I think for now, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm obviously gonna fluff up the pompous more often and move this around. So the next thing I got, I actually got this a long time ago, but I wanted to include this video because this is another thing that helped really elevate my room and it is this basket. I had another basket before this that was pretty flimsy and whenever I would put blankets in it, it would just like completely collapse. So I got this wired basket from Target. This was only like $25. I've been looking for ways to like do little black accents throughout the room, like the skull and then this basket and then my mirror, which I'll show you in a second. And then my makeup organizer, which I also did a DIY on for this video and then my rug has black lines on it as well so everything just ties well but it's really like the little accent pieces and the little accessories that help everything tie all together but next things next is my makeup vanity stool I got this from Amazon I want to say it was like 60 bucks maybe it's like this plush velvet gray and it has some silver on the legs one of the things that i wanted to get rid of when i was upgrading my room was to get rid of as many gold things <laughs> as i could because i'm really not into gold the only thing i'm into is like silver pieces or black accents in my room so getting the vanity stool that had the silver legs weirdly enough was hard to find a lot of them were either like wood or gold or um, just really funky colors that didn't mix well with my room. So I'll link this one down below because it definitely was hard to find one that was like a good size, good price with the chrome legs. And also that was another really inexpensive way. I thought it was going to be like over $100 to find something that I really liked. But once I did more searching on Amazon, I found the right stool. And it definitely neutralized everything because it was once a blue fold-up chair, like I just said. So something that really sparked me to do this video is my makeup organizer. Um, if you guys have seen in past videos, um, I bought it like forever ago from Home Goods. It was like this gold makeup organizer. I was really in the gold in the last house. I thought in this space, the makeup organizer would look better black. So I'm gonna show you the footage of that now.
the makeup organizer is finally dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take this upstairs. I have the drawers chilling in the corner of my room and I've kind of been going through them. So they're all like a mess right now. I'm gonna reorganize the drawers, put them all back in here, screw all the knobs on, and then let's just see how it all turns out afterwards. Ooh, okay, I'm a much bigger fan of the black than the gold, that's for sure. It kind of looks like it's blended in with everything instead of like standing out. I don't know, it kind of blends well with like the mirror and then the basket. So like I said, I have all my drawers in the corner of my room and I've kind of been like lifting them just to grab things and then putting it back on top of the drawers. So these are all disorganized. I'm gonna go through all of the drawers. I'm gonna put the knobs back on. Doesn't it look so much better? I am obsessed with the finish of it. If you see something that you can refinish, go for it, try it and see how you like it. If not, you can just literally, I could spray paint this gold if I didn't like it anymore, but definitely not gonna be doing that. Now this is the next thing that I wanted to show you guys. This is definitely probably out of like a small budget. However, it's really worth it because I do outfit of the days all the time. I'm always filming with my mirror and it makes my room look so much bigger. I had another mirror here before. Um, I got this one and it was smaller and it was cute, but it wasn't my vibe, it wasn't my aesthetic. So this one was actually from Amazon. Surprisingly enough, this was not a $400 mirror. Um, I wanna say it was like more 160. I wanted to do the Ikea mirror, you know, that iconic Ikea mirror. I was gonna go for that, however, it was silver and the shipping cost was double the price. So I was like, you know what, never mind. Amazon probably has my back on this one. And they did. So this one was only $160. I got this way earlier in the year. Um, I actually did a vlog unboxing it and stuff. So I will put a card up here as well. So more proof that shopping on Amazon or Home Goods, or Marshalls or any of those places, you definitely wanna go there first before you go out on West Elm or Pottery Barn. Better yet, go on West Elm and Pottery Barn to look for inspiration or even Pinterest and then search those terms on Amazon and you'll probably find something half the cost. And I also got this from Marshalls and it was like six bucks, I believe. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video, this whole room makeover. I am not like some like DIYer or designer or anything, but I just wanted to show you guys some inspiration and just some ways to upgrade your room on a budget. If you did enjoy this room video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want more of these videos. Don't forget to follow up my social medias. They will be linked down below. I post on Instagram, all my stories all the time. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next vlog next week. Bye.